this is my PlayStation 3 collection. I do have more. It's just I wanted to continue doing the odd, uh, putting the numbers. So this represents a three right there. So, yeah. Uh, just trying to be a little creative there. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's get started now with my PlayStation 3 collection. And I do have more, but I, I just wanted to shape this one on a three. Let's start with this column first here. And my first game I have is Prince of Persia Trilogy, remastered in high definition. Again, this has The Sands of Time, Warrior Within, and The Two Thrones. I've only played uh, The Sands of Time and The Warrior Within. I haven't played the third game. So this game is still on a backlog list. This game is a blank game. No, it's not. But it's uh, Terminator Salvation, which... Supposedly they said it's an easy platinum, but I haven't, uh, I got stuck in one level because, well, one, uh, it froze, so I might have to play it on another PS3, my, maybe my slim one. And we have, of course, classic, the Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots, so that's essential to owning a PS3. I'm surprised this hasn't been remastered yet. It's still on, only on the PlayStation 3 right now. So I don't know if it's going to be reissued again. I hopefully, but right now it's only on the PlayStation 3. And this coincided with a console. Well, I'm gonna do a PlayStation 3 console collection as well. But yeah, this is the, uh, there's a limited edition gunmetal gray PlayStation 3 fat from uh, back in the day. It was only a 40 gig and it was released in 2008, 2009 to coincide with this game. Next we have, <clears throat> Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. This game uh, started the whole, like, for Sonic. I think this is the one, or is it Sega and Sonic? I'm sorry. This come out in 2009? Mm, I forgot already. I know, I get confused because they're similar, but I think this one came out first, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Uh, but these games are really fun. And then we have Gran Turismo 6. I think this game is much better than uh, Gran Turismo on uh, PS4. But this game is really fun and it's only on PS3 right now. Uh, next we have Batman Arkham Asylum, the Game of the Year edition. Uh, even the greatest hits, I got it because it has a Game of the Year edition. So even though it's the red, some people hate this red. So, But yeah, uh, this is... Game of the Year for Batman Arkham Silent, and you get the 3D glasses too. Ooh. I played uh, the Return to Arkham on PS4, but I can't remember if it has all the DLC for this one. I don't remember. And then we have Alone in the Dark Inferno. I never got far in this game, but maybe I'll give it another shot again. Uh, next we have Demon Souls. Of course, you're going to see the greatest hits again. And this game, I heard, is rumored, or is it now factual that it's going to be released on PS5? I don't know. But, yeah, uh, I keep hearing about that. And, yes, this game, I saw it on a PS3 emulator for a computer that this game is running. Demon's Souls, which is amazing. But I got the one of the essential games to get on PS3. We have Little Big Planet Karting, and this was also on the Vita. I have not tried it on the move because I just got the move recently, so maybe I could try it out. But uh, this game, if you, it's a, it's a different take on uh, kart racing games. So, yeah. And uh, again, it's a PlayStation exclusive. Sniper 2 Ghost Warrior. And I can tell you, I haven't really played this game that much. <laughs> Gotta continue. I'll probably try it out. And then we have Okami HD on PS3, the best edition. This is uh, Japan only for uh, physical. And if you're wondering, why is it yellow like this? This is the Asian or Japanese version of their greatest hits. They make it in yellow instead of red. Actually, I kind of, this is more pleasing in the eye, the yellow than the red one. Don't you think? Because the red is kind of like, whoa, you know, way up there versus this one. And yeah. Game is I like Okami, very good game, but uh, yeah, 
There was a remake on PS4 and Xbox One that was released two years ago, I believe. And I played the one on Xbox One because... So. Anyway, next we have One Piece Unlimited World Day One Edition. And I am a big fan of the One Piece manga series, so I decided to get this right away. And this is different from the Pirate Warrior series, of course. Uh, next we have... Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn and I like Mobile Suit Gundam games that's why I got this I got it for the game of course uh, I don't know if you can buy the game separately I think it's only available in this box which includes the game the blu-ray and a book you can play the blu-ray in your uh, North American PS3 because it has the same Japan and uh, North America have the same blu-ray region encoding so you can play blu-rays from Japan no problem pretty bulky here though too so and next we have call of duty black ops 2 what more can i say about that this game is call of duty i'm not sure if the servers are still online though uh next is uh, disgaea 4 a promise unforgotten i can tell you i haven't really played this game uh, just because RPGs take so much time off, and uh, i rather just dive right into the game, so. Uh, I'll give this game a shot, you know, but uh, it's good to Sky of 4 again, Promise Unforgotten. Uh, I have played all three of these on PS2. I played this and this again on PS3 here. I haven't really played Devil Can Make Cry 3, though. And I played Devil May Cry 4, and now I need to find a cheap, you know, like a, a physical version of Devil May Cry 5. So I might get it on PlayStation because I already have Devil May Cry 4 on this one on PS3 already. So just make it on, just get on PS4. Or actually, I think I remember that it was censored out, actually, the PS4 version of Devil May Cry 5. So I might just get on Xbox. I don't know. One of the systems. Uh, next, we have Greatest Hits version of Borderlands 2. That's all I can say, Borderlands 2. I haven't even played Borderlands 3 yet. Uh, next, we have Binary Domain. This is an interesting take on this game, and uh, I liked it a lot. It was pretty fun, and this uh, takes place you're, you're um, helping out, and actually your comrades are actually robots, like, uh, one of them. The, I think the, I believe the lady, I can't, I haven't played this in, I played it when it first came out in 2013, so I haven't, I forgot already, but it was really fun, and I beat the game, but I need to go back and maybe get some trophies, maybe. Uh, yep, Binary Domain. So that's it for the first pile. We have next, uh, the second pile here. So, we have Tekken 6. I just got Tekken 7 for the PS4, so pretty stoked. Uh, I played this game. I beat the story mode. I just, it's been a long time because this game came out in, yeah, 2009, already 11 years ago. But I didn't get all the trophies, so I might go back and play this. Next, we have... Skidoo Snowmobile Challenge. This was cheap. It was three bucks on Amazon with Prime shipping included. And I like any kind of racing game. And this is a night. This is actually just caught me by surprise. See, I still have the use acceptable, but it still looks fine to me. And uh, yeah, I played a little bit of this game. I got some trophies. I didn't do all the circuits yet, so I'll go back to this game. Get back to this game. Uh, next we have. Uh, Sengoku Basara Samurai Heroes. This game, if you're like a Sengoku uh, Basara fan, you've got to play this game. Uh, this was, I believe this was a, no it was not. I think Xbox got this as well. I can't remember. But yeah, uh, really fun, you know, the hack and slash uh, kind of games. Uh, then we have Leisure Suit Larry. GameStop giving me in this black case. And I had to create the uh, the cover art because it came blank. But, oh, well, it was blank. Yeah, and this game is, eh, it's okay, but I don't know. It could, be be could have been a better game. Uh, there's a lot of glitches in this game, actually. Next, we have Duke Nukem Forever. This game took forever to come out. 
Uh, and this wasn't really that good. It felt like a budget game when I was playing it. So Duke Nukem Forever, yeah. <laughs> and then we have Red Faction Armageddon. I believe this was remastered, wasn't it? One of the games was remastered on PS4. I forgot which one. But I think this is not the one. The other red, the earlier game was uh, remastered on PS4, which I didn't get because I have these games on PS3 and they still look good to me. So I don't really need to get a remaster unless I want to get more trophies or something. Uh, this game I feel is a forgotten game, Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom. This game is really fun. I liked it a lot, and uh, it's it was a different kind of a platforming puzzle game. And uh, yeah, if you find this game for cheap, you should pick it up. Uh, next, we have another Mobile Suit game. Is almost a Gundam game. I'm sorry, Mobile Suit Gundam Side Stories. This is only in Japan, hence the kanji. And I thought I like I mean, any kind of mobile. Suit. I mean, this has. I got this game because it's a collection of games, and I really wanted to play again Gundam Side Story Zero Zero Seven Nine, and then uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to get this game, and I also wanted to play. Um, I think it was this game. I can't remember which one. But yeah, if you like Mobile Scandal games, you should pick up this one game as well. And then here's another one, uh, EX Troopers. This was only available in Japan, but it, it's like kind of like a, looks like, it looks like a punk game, but it reminds me of like Lost Planet a little bit. So I was playing it. I didn't get to finish it though. So I'm gonna get this back. There's a lot of backlog. I finished Amazing Spider-Man uh, 1 and 2. Uh, the second game, though, I played it on PS4. Uh, I might go back to this game because I have a, this PS Move compatible. Anyone that has this thing here on the side, which is awesome, so I'm going to get to replay the game again and maybe try it to have different controls. Gundam Breaker, another Gundam game. And this one is uh, old already now, of course. And I don't know if the server is still on, but I there is a campaign, but I think it relies it on internet con connectivity, which sucks, but... Uh, I don't know. I, I believe this game still works. I should probably put it in and test it out. But another Gundam game. And then we have Madagascar Karts, which if you like kart racing games, you'll like this. Uh, yeah, Madagascar Karts. That's all I could tell you. It's a kart racing game. Really fun. Uh, Dead to Rights Retribution. I still remember the Dead to Rights games when I played it on the original Xbox. And I wanted to play the third game on the current gen. And... I don't know, I prefer the first two games. This game was just kind of, eh, it wasn't really as good. Uh, next, I have Heavy Fire Afghanistan. If you like, sh you know, uh, games with point and shoot, or if you're gonna use it with your move. I didn't have a move, a move at the time when I got this game for cheap, for four bucks. But now I have a move, so I'm gonna try it not with a move because it's really one of those arcade shooting games, really, like Virtua Cop or something like that. Yeah, I can't wait to play this game again. And then we have Nier. Uh, I started playing this game, got kind of bored with it. And then, uh, yeah, I didn't play it anymore. I haven't played the newer game, the sequel on PS4, Xbox One, Nier Automata, I believe. No, Automata, I can't remember. Yeah, I haven't played that game yet either. So, but Nier uh, is here. <laughs> then we have uh, another Mobile Suit Gun Gundam game. This is uh, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme Versus Plus. And this version here, it's not Japanese. It's the Chinese version, I believe, because that's a different kind of rating system. I got on eBay for cheap. But yeah, if you like these kind of games, you're going to like this one. Again, it's Mobile Suit Gundam. And again, this is like the greatest hits if it's in yellow. Because they say it's the best. So the best is greatest hits in Asian Japanese territories. Uh, then we have Grand Slam Tennis 2. It's a tennis game. But again, I'm gonna try it with the move again. Yeah. Mm -mm. Next, NBA Jam. I didn't pay $19.95 for it, no. I got an auction for five bucks. And uh, you're trying to recreate the days of NBA Jam I'm back on the 16-bit days. It does it on occasion, but I don't know. I just it doesn't feel as polished as the older games on the Genesis and Super Nintendo, or, or even the Jaguar. I don't know, but that's my opinion. Uh, they haven't released any newer NBA Jam games on disc, so they have NBA Playgrounds. 
And that's not the same studio though. So uh, next is Grand Theft Auto episode from Liberty City. Now I should be playing this game because I got it for cheap. I just, uh, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto 5. I didn't really get into Grand Theft Auto 4. So I think this is based off of Grand, yeah. Grand Theft Auto 4 is not required to play. So, hey, I got some more Grand Theft Auto games to play this one. All right, so that's done with that column there. Then we're gonna go next into this one. And we have, I'm just checking the time. We have uh, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, Game of the Year Edition. Now I got this for 86 cents on uh, on, uh, on Amazon. Uh, I got, I had Uncharted 3 already. It's just, but this was the Game of the Year Edition, which I didn't have. And hey, I was surprised that they had, they gave us a complete disc like this. It was awesome. Uh, but yeah, Uncharted 3, what are you gonna expect? You know, you can play all these uh, games, of course, Uncharted series on the PS4 now. But uh, it's nice to get it for eight, less than a buck on uh, PS3 still. Complete, too. Uh, next, Singularity. This is an uh, underrated game. But uh, if, if for shooters, if you like shooting, shooter games, uh, shooting games, and you haven't played this game, you should play the Singularity. Really fun. Oops, I can't put it back. There we go. Next is Warhawk. The servers are already down, but uh, yeah, you can still play this game. I don't know if this is, tr I think this has trophies, I believe. I haven't really, never really played this game i should probably play it now but i'm already stuck and i can't i can play the campaign stuff but the um i think yeah you I, yeah i can't really play the multiplayer part now because the servers are down so unfortunately uh next is dante's inferno divine edition and this is just like a ripoff of uh or they're trying to you know uh get uh uh, like a God of War, it was. It felt the same exact thing. I don't know, but uh, that was my opinion. But it just felt like God of War, and uh, I played it in 2011, and then I got to a certain level, and it was just too hard, and I just gave up. I probably get back to this. I don't know. I should though. I should give it another shot. Next we have Blaz Blue, or people is gonna say Blaze Blue blast blue to me uh continuum shift if you just like fighting games so now i never had an arcade fighting stick now i got one recently for cheap for the ps3 so I'll, pro I'll come back to this game i'm gonna come back to this game uh i already ruined the surprise for the next game so but blast blue if you like uh uh 2d fighters you're gonna like this game or two and a half d fighters next is splinter cell blacklist uh, I haven't really played this game, I can tell you, but I like the Splinter Cell game, so, uh, the original Splinter Cell game on Xbox, original Xbox, so that's why I decided to get this for cheap, too, it was five bucks, uh, but, you know, I, I better keep playing these PS3 games because I know PS5 is coming out, you know, so, gotta keep playing these PS3 games, uh, anyway, because PS4 still has a lot of time. And we have Ragnarok Odyssey Ace. And I think this is an enhanced version of the Ragnarok Odyssey game, the regular one, which came out on Vita. But this is all, this was on PS3. And this came out pretty late in PS3. It was like the PS4 was already released. This was really, yeah, this was released, I believe, in 2014. But yeah, this is right here. It says uh, you can cross play with the Vita. Interesting. Yeah, and we have uh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. This game came with a, like a fart cushion. I don't know, some kind of balloon or something. And I thought it was a fart cushion actually. But um, yeah, this, um, I like Persona 4 Arena. So I decided to get this one to, like, I guess this is the enhanced version, I believe. I don't know, I'm just thinking it is because why would they make it uh, this Alta Max. So just wondered there. Next we had Dragon's Crown. If you like Dungeon and Dragon games or like the, uh, yeah, um, back in the day on like Sega Saturn and P and PlayStation, you're gonna like this one. Cause look at that. It's like a beat em up, really fun. 
Uh, and then next is CSI, Fatal Conspiracy. I haven't played this game, but I got it for a buck ninety nine uh, last summer. So I should probably, I heard this game is an easy platinum, so I should probably play it. Uh, Front Mission Evolved. I didn't really, couldn't really get into this game. It's a mech game, but I just didn't like the controls. I don't know. Uh, then we have Crisis 2 Limited Edition. I haven't had time to play this game. There's just so many. There's Crisis 3 I haven't played either, so I'll put this on the backlog. Alpha Protocol. I didn't really like this game. I played it. It has too much RPG elements. I thought it was just like a, a shooting game, but it's more, yeah, RPG. It was, I'll give it another chance. Made by Sega. Uh, but, yeah, I just didn't. Couldn't really get in the game. Infamous 2. Surprisingly enough, I beat Infamous Second Son, but I haven't beaten Infamous 2. So, I had to get back to this game. I'm surprised that there's no Infamous uh, remaster. You know, Infamous 1 and 2 on PS4. But, uh, yeah. This is this game is better than the original Infamous game. The Infamous game, the original one, is already good anyway. So, but yeah, I remember getting Infamous first digital because they were it was one of the games I picked when the place to PSN outage one took place in 2011. These were the one of the this was one of the games that they offered uh, to come back along with Little Big Planet and I forgot the other game. Yeah. Uh, next we have Child of Eden. Uh, again, a game that. It's probably much more fun with the PS Movement since I have one now. I'm going to play this game again. I played it with just regular standard controls, and it was okay, but I believe it's much better than with the PS Move. Uh, next, it's just a football game. I got this for 2 bucks, Actually, 20% off 2 bucks. Uh, I decided I don't have an NCAA football game, and this is so outdated now. The NCAA 14 version is the one that's more sought after because that was the last one. This is the second to last one, so it's not desirable. Uh, yeah. And then we have Wolfenstein. This is, uh, I believe this is a reboot, I believe. Or, I can't remember if it's a, no. I think it's the reboot of the Wolfenstein uh, 3D. Can't remember, I don't know. But I know this was forgotten because they had Wolfenstein A New Order that was released on PS4 years later, and no one really talks about this game anymore, so. Uh, really fun, but hard. Difficult game. Uh, next, we have... <clears throat> actually, my uh, my throat is really bugging me. I've already, I already gone through three piles already. Uh, we'll go through one more pile here. <clears throat> and I'll do probably a part two eventually. But I have uh, Wanted Corp. This game uh, came out digital everywhere, but this physical version was only released in France. Hence, or I'm sorry, France? Is it France? France or Italy? I can't remember. But you can tell, yeah, this is Italian. This is Italian. So it was only released in it, in uh, Italy for the physical version and France as well. Uh, but yeah, this game was hard to find, I read. But I got off Amazon. Uh, maybe I'm thinking maybe France because I got off Amazon France and they shipped to the, to the uh, North America, US. So it was pretty nice to get this game. It's like an over-the-head shooter. Uh, I got to World 4, I believe. Then it got really hard, and I couldn't get past one mission. I'm like, oh, I'll just forget it. I'll get back to this game sometime. A lot of games I'm going to say you get back to, and then years later, you're like, oh, shoot. I haven't uh, gotten back to that game. So here we have Medal of Honor Limited Edition. This game includes Medal of Honor Frontline, which... I don't know if this one has trophies. Someone tell me, or I'll look on PSN profiles or something. If it does, then I'm gonna download this game and play it because I remember playing that game on the original Xbox. It was really fun. It got me into the Medal of Honor games. Uh, yep. And next we have Mortar Storm Pacific Rift. Oh man, these, this game was really fun. I uh, played many hours of this and I, should go back to this game because I didn't really finish the missions. So, uh, Saboteur. I don't know why they didn't remaster this one, but you. This game was really fun. Third person. Uh, you play as this guy, and again, you have to. You're in for, in Paris, and then you have to uh, just go on these missions and 
um, of course, kill people or, you know, <laughs> just go on your missing missions. Yeah. Uh, Defiance, I couldn't get this game to work because there was this update patch on the PS3 and it took forever. And I think it's dependent on the PSN network. I don't know if the servers are still up in here. That's why I couldn't really play this game. And it was three bucks. Price bucks now, I know why they got rid of it. But, A, I got the physical version. Does anyone know about Defiance? Please let me know if this game is still online. Uh, next is Dark Kingdom Untold Legends. This is a launch, one of the launch, oh, one of the, I think this, yeah, this was a launch title, I believe, on the PS3. Uh, no trophies in this one, so it's just, uh, it's pure game, but it's nice because, uh, really, um, oh, I'm sorry, it's an action RPG. See, I really haven't had time to play this game either. Uh, then another one, a game that defined the PS3 early on its life is Heavenly Sword. A female version of God of War. Uh, again, this has no trophies because this game came out in 2007. I don't know why Sony didn't ret retroactively just put trophies on these. Uh, I got a second copy of this one uh, because a friend gave it to me. Uh, but, yeah, this is the Great Assist version. So, uh, then we have the King of Fighters 13. Played it with just the uh, DualShock. Now, since I have an arcade stick I got for cheap, for the, again, like I said earlier, PS3, I can play this now. So I'm going to play it with the arcade stick. Then we have another Medal of Honor game, Limited, I mean, Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition. And I cut this for two bucks. Uh, uh, well, this is already expired, though, the code. But, um, yeah. Medal of Honor, there you go. Another interesting game. I don't know, I just got this for two bucks, but I found out later you need to have the peripheral, the Tony Hawk ride, so I can't play this game. I have the game, but I don't have the skateboard, I believe. Yeah, oh well, yeah. Uh, then we have the orange box. I heard this version on PS3 is harder to find than the one on 360. I played a 360 version many years ago, and then I found this for cheap at a pawn shop, but I really didn't play it because I played the 360 version already. I should probably give this one a shot because I did play Portal a lot, and then uh, the reason why I got it originally because is the um, Half-Life 2, so I didn't really get into Team Fortress 2 that much. But yeah, there you go, the orange box. G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. Buck ninety nine. Haven't really played it. Yeah, I should. It looks like a good third person shooter. Hayes ninety nine cents. No, excuse me, ninety nine cents. And this game is uh okay, but uh, it's only released on PS three. Yeah, no trophies. If you if you're wondering, same thing with this game. Launch title for the PS three in Japan. Got this for five bucks at a pawn shop. Sega Golf Club, and these are all golfers who are famous. These are all Japanese golfers who are famous in Japan, of course, because these are Japanese game. It kind of had the same graphics. I played it a little bit. It kind of had the same engine or graphics as a virtual, like a virtual golf game. I don't know, that's what it felt like, but yeah. Sega Golf Club. Uh, didn't release in the US or in Canada. And Blade Storm: The Hundred Years War. This was released again on ps4 i remember seeing it uh and i don't know this game was uh it just reminded me just like of the dynasty warriors games but yeah uh blade storm the hundred years war resistance fall of man the definitely part of your ps3 collection because this was a launch title on the ps3 and again like i said no trophies because of the launch title on ps3 uh, I played this game a lot. Didn't play it though as much as the later Resident game, the Resident Resistance game. I'm sorry, why don't I say Resident Resistance? Resistance Fall Man. I didn't really play it as much as uh, the later Resistance games. Resistance Resistance Two and Three. I played a lot more than that one, the original game. And then Lair. Uh, this was a later title on the PS3. I mean, it came out in 2007, and this this demonstrated the motion the six axis control when you control the dragon. But uh, yeah, this game, I don't know, it was okay. And what else can I show you? Uh, that's it, really. I'm going to make this into parts. So 
I'll just do a part two next time because I'm just, I need a drink and my throat is killing me after talking for 30 minutes about these games. Anyway, thank you again for watching. And until next time, take care and I'll do another PS3 collection video. Um, maybe I'll just do parts or I'll just do an update or something because I still got these games too. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching again. Until next time, thanks for uh, watching my content and supporting my channel. Take care.